Hello all, welcome back to another Flags of the World quiz with me, New Sensei. This one is from Jetpack. Now, uh, I did say that Jetpack was probably my favourite uh, Countries of the World uh, quiz site, and they have their own Flags of the World quiz, obviously. Now, the last one I did was from Sporkle. I think Sporkle is one of my favourite ones because it allows you to skip flags. This one does not allow you to skip as far as I know. Uh, it has 196 flags, it does have Palestine, but it has every other flag. Now I think the flags in this quiz are better. They have the right size and proportions and the right colours, whereas the one in Sporkle has very confusing dimensions and colours. Uh, this one has better flags, and like as you can probably see, it is sorted by pattern. So you can see like the tricolours, the circles, the, uh, the Nordic crosses, uh, the stars. So um, it's a good way to learn by error. So you can learn through, if you're using this as activity or you're just learning just to challenge yourself, this is a good way to learn because you can make uh, comparisons between uh, very similar flags. Uh, I already learned the colors, so I'm not very worried about the patterns, but this is a way to learn. Now, the disadvantages, you can't skip. There's one thing I don't like, you have to scroll down to get all the uh, flags, so it's not, it doesn't appear in one spot. So, I still prefer Sporkle, although this one is a bit more forgiving in some instances. So, let's go through and demonstrate this quiz and see how much you can get. Alright, so everything's based off the patterns, it's pretty easy to figure out. USA, UK, Australia, New Zealand, very similar flags, Canada stands out there. And then we have the tricolours, Russia, Netherlands, France, Italy, uh, Ireland, Ivory Coast, Bulgaria, Hungary, and Madagascar stands out, but same colour scheme. Okay, then the circles, Japan, South Korea, uh, that's Bangladesh, Palau, Brazil, interesting. Then the crosses. Scroll down. Sweden, Flynn, Norway, Iceland, Denmark. The other crosses. Greece, Georgia has many crosses. Uh, Tonga has one. Malta, St. George Cross. And Dominican Republic stands out. Okay. Uh, China, Vietnam, Cameroon, uh, Burkina Faso, uh, Burma, Kosovo, Albania. Cyprus, Bhutan, Lebanon, Nepal, Vatican, square flags now. Uh, that's uh, Switzerland, Belgium, Niger, uh, going down, Gabon, Israel, Papua New Guinea, uh, San Marino, Marina, DRC, Turkey, uh, the, um, the Crescent Moon now. All of these are the Islamic nations. That's Tunisia. Uh, Algeria, Pakistan, Mauritania. I think the colors are much better on this one, to be honest. The other ones are a bit too, uh, a bit too plain. The colors are correct. Comoros, uh, Libya, Malaysia, uh, Uzbekistan, Singapore, Turkmenistan. I misspelled that. Turkmenistan, uh, Maldives, Oman, Saudi Arabia. You see it more clearly as well. Uh, Germany, uh, Spain, South Africa. Uh, South Sudan, Jamaica, it's a bit odd, the place there. Mexico, another odd placement. India, Swaziland, Shields, Kenya, Barbados. I know that this, this is a static order, so you can learn by repetition. The other version of Sporkle is random order. So red and white ones. Uh, Poland, Indonesia is the rectangular one, Monaco is a square, and Peru is missing the, uh, the central uh, kind of arms. Uh, Yemen, then the, the, the Arabic ones, the, the pan-Arab colors. Uh, Yemen, Egypt, uh, Iraq, Syria, UAE, Jordan, Kuwait, uh, Sudan, and then we have more pan-Arab colors. Uh, not Arab, but uh, same colors. Tajikistan, Iran, Malawi, and Tiku has the same uh, symbol. And the sun, the Malawi sun, the Tiku sun, uh, Argentina has the sun, and Uruguay has a sun, and Rwanda has a sun. Macedonia has a sun, so does Marshall Islands, and so does the Philippines, so does Kiribati, and Kazakhstan. This is actually really interesting with the connection between all these flags. Uh, sun, Libya, Nauru, more stars, Venezuela has a star, Seychelles has multiple colours, and Congo has that one. That's the the uh, diagonal stripe now. Congo, uh, Tanzania has a diagonal stripe, St. Kitts, and Trinidad, and Brunei, uh, and Bosnia. And then we have the uh, the triangles, Bahamas, Eritrea, East Timor, Zimbabwe, 
uh, Sal Tome, Guyan. This is really interesting. <laughs> Mozambique, uh, Vanuatu, Djibouti, Equatorial Guinea, uh, Czech Republic, and then Cuba, and then the uh, blue, right, uh, blue, white, red color scheme. Uh, Panama, Chile, the stars now, the cup corner, Liberia, Taiwan, Samoa, North Korea, Lao, colors now, uh, Cape Verde, Belize, Haiti, Cambodia, Liechtenstein, uh, Paraguay, Serbia, Slovenia, no, Slovakia, Croatia, Slovenia, that one is Costa Rica, but the, um, the seal, uh, Thailand, and Luxembourg, whoa, Okay, then we have the uh, the blue and white stars, Honduras, Micronesia, Somalia, uh, El Salvador has that that uh, coat of arms, and oops, Sal Salvador, whoops, and uh, this one is Nicaragua. Yep, Estonia and the uh, the blue stripes, Estonia, uh, Botswana, that one is Sierra Leone. And then we have back to the uh, the pan uh, African colors. We've got Angola, Afghanistan, which is not in Africa. Same color scheme. Burundi, Oman. No, it's Belarus. Sorry, I'm just tripping. But <laughs> Belarus. Um, that's Bahrain. And then we have these very similar African colors. Uh, pan African colors. Uh, uh, that's Guinea, Mali, Senegal, Benin, Togo. Uh, Guinea Bissau, Ethiopia. Uh, this is Lithuania, which is not in Africa, but the same colors. Bolivia is not Africa either, same colors though. And then Ghana, Suriname, South America. That's uh, Dominica, Grenada, Mauritius. Now we've got the the uh, horizontal multicolored stripes. Armenia. Then we've got the tricolors. That is Romania, Chad, Colombia, back to South America with their common color schemes. Uh, Ecuador, uh, this one's not in South America. This one is Moldova and Andorra and Portugal, the shield, Morocco and Kyrgyzstan with the stars, Uganda with the rooster, Sri Lanka, the lion, uh, Mongolia, it's a bit odd one out, and uh, Montenegro, also an odd one out. Nigeria, Solomon Islands, got some like the green color scheme, blue and green, uh, Lesotho, St. Vincent, uh, that is Guatemala, kind of odd one out, Ukraine, Zambia, we to see the odd ones out now, uh, Latvia, Qatar, uh, more the Union Jacks, Fiji, Tuvalu, blue background, St. Lucia, CR, Gambia. Okay, so that's the 196 flags in the Jetpack version. Interestingly, you can see the ones which are commonly uh, responded to. So the top few, it seems that most people know USA, uh, everyone knows UK, Australia, Canada. <laughs> Interesting, it's the US, UK, Australia, Canada, most recognisable. Uh, France is recognisable, Italy, New Zealand, Japan, and so on. So that's our top 10-ish, top people know these. The bottom few, they put down get, uh, Gambia. That's interesting. Uh, Guinea Bissau. It's actually quite interesting to see how people don't get. All right, so we've got sorry, Gambia, Guinea Bissau, Solomon Islands, Bolivia. It's interesting. Uh, that's uh, not a hard one, but that's there. Equatorial Guinea, Guinea, Suriname, South Sudan, Principe, Mauritius, Mali, Sierra Leone. Yeah, fair enough. No surprises here. These are kind of hard to guess if you don't know what they are. Um, and I imagine these countries, people don't know these countries. Uh, of course, if you, if you know the countries, it's a big help. Otherwise, you still do some guesswork. So, yeah, that's the Jetpunk version. It does tend to run a lot smoother. The flags are better. Uh, it is sorted by patterns, so you can learn the patterns very quickly. Uh, I like the, the Sporkle version a bit more just because it is a bit more random. Um, even though the flags aren't as good, it's more random and you can skip. Whereas this one you can't skip, you have to go through the whole thing and memorize the whole thing. Anyway, I hope you found this interesting. This is New Sensei. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.